Hi everybody, this is Crazy Homemaker. And uh, we went out picking today. My idea of picking is going for elderberries this time. These are elderberries. We pick them on, off the side of the highways. Um, a little bit further off than just off the sideways, off, off of the highways, excuse me. And we got a partial bag here and a little bit here. So, I don't I am now going to take off all these little seeds, these little seeds from each one of these. I can't use the red ones, can't use the green ones, so I gotta pick those out of my bowl. Um, let me see if I can find to see what a leaf looks like, so you can see with the leaves. Yeah, there's one with leaves, a couple of leaves. They take up too much space, so I just cut off the heads. But I'll take you back one day and show you my elderberry stand back in my garden, which doesn't produce a whole lot. Um, but well, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I take these, um, take them off the stems, wash them, dry them, lay them on a cookie sheet, on a piece of plastic wrap, on the cookie sheet, put them in the freezer for a little bit. After they've frozen solid, then I take them and put them in quart bags or whatever size bags I have and chuck them back in the freezer. And then over the winter time, I could make some pies, which I like to do. Uh, like if you wanted to, you could also make elderberry wine. You could make elderberry cough syrup. You could make elderberry jelly, which is really, really, really good. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing elderberry jam because of all the little seeds. Each one of each one of these little babies here has a seed in it, and it would be a little too hard. On to spread on um, jam or on bread for um, jam but they're not good until you cook them so that's a that's another little caution there uh, but other than that these are like so good a piece of elderberry pie with some vanilla or French vanilla ice cream on the side mm-hmm yep that's a really good dessert so, so long for now. I'll talk to you later and live in peace. Bye.